Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for Sana Inc. I'm Swanda. In this video today we're going to do a flip through of my half letter discount planner. Something that's long overdue. So if this is something you're interested in, stay tuned. First off, I'm going to start off with a dashboard that I absolutely love. It's from the company called Noted Co. It's the Boss Dashboard. And what I've done is just backed it with a plain black cardstock and clipped it to my cover. Next up is my social media section. Here you see a task card created. I got the inspiration from Maddie Plans. Thank you for that. Um, I'm using the cloth and paper top tab monthly dividers. Uh, right now I have six months in there. So um, let's see. What I'm using is a plan to create month on one page inserts. I used stickers that I had currently in my stash and decorated them on posts for Instagram, paydays, those simple little things like that. On the back of it, I just wrote down ideas, things I wanted for my social media, of course. Um, so it pretty much continues this way throughout. So we're just going to do a quick flip through of the remaining months. This little sticky note is a template I got from Perfectionism Prints, I do believe offline wonderful you guys should check it out now we're entering to the guts of the planner so I'm using the cloth and paper CEO side tab dividers for these sections first up is the cloth and paper month on two page inserts absolutely love on the back, just put some little stickers for some appointments. Next up, it's my list section. Within this section is my inbox. I brain dump everything that I come up with for the month. So here I have a list of things starting with January. I use stickers from the Planner Spot, her deco stickers. I absolutely love it, gives me that touch of flair. So right now, let's do just a quick flip through of the months. These sticky notes are from uh, Paper Panda. And I think the one up underneath is from Cloth and Paper. I absolutely love those sticky notes. So you guys should go to the sites and check it out. Next up is my project section. This houses more detailed information for my media content. However, I didn't put anything in here just to keep things um, confidential. But unfortunately, these particular inserts from cloth and paper are no longer available. So bummed about that. Um, but I just added some washer tape to the ends of the page just to give a little pop of color. And added a few more stickers to the page. Why not? Next up is my finance section. Um, another task card here. I was using the cloth and paper monthly expenses. Unfortunately, those are no longer available on their site, but they do have an updated version of the finances um, insert, so you might want to just check it out. Here is just a um, pocket where I house any bills, and I also keep my Erin Condren perpetual calendar here just to keep up with birthdays, anniversary, important dates. Next up is my goals and ideas section. A lot of my goals and ideas are within my list section, my brain dump. But here's a minimalism journaling card from Cloth and Paper. And I just have some little notes here and have some task cards I want to create and some additional note pages. Last but not least is miscellaneous section. Um, yet another dashboard from Cloth and Paper that's no longer available. Sorry about that, guys. But, um, what I store here are the previous months on two page spreads. So let's just take a quick flip through those.
So I'm going to remove those previous moths out. And what stays in here is this Poe and Hun sticky note set, which I absolutely love. Then, of course, my back pocket, which houses a couple of um, sticky notes and page flags. Nothing fancy there. Well, this concludes my video. Please be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and join the fam. Also, leave a comment for any future videos you'd like for me to do. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye.